Okay, here we go. Let's go live. What is up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, live stream. It's been a minute since we've streamed. It's actually been like a long minute, and I can see some people in the chat kind of annoyed that I'm here a little bit late. Sorry about that. I was prepping everything. It's been a minute since I streamed, so I haven't done this in a while, and uh, <laughs> OBS updated, and I don't know what I'm doing. But what's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, Bray? What's up, Jan? What's up, Very Chewy Snake? What's up, Grayscale? How you guys doing? Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. What's up, Mendoza's? Kicks and Figs? How's it going, Rezo? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? Like I said, it's been a minute, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me very well. But, uh, hey, 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 what is up, guys? It's been a minute. It has been a minute. My, my setup's changed. You guys can't really see it, but my desk is different. Um, man, how you guys doing? Gone fishing, what's good? I recognize you. I've seen you before. Uh, let me check something really quick. Let me check the description of this video, make sure everything's good. Yes, we are good. We are good. Change something really quick. We are good. All right. All right, all right. What's up, Louise? What's up, Hoggle? What's up, Nicholas? Elijah, how's it going? Josh, how you guys doing? It's a bit weak. I can update it. I can fix it for you. No problem. Let me uh, check, 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 check. Is that any better? Is that worse? I don't know. Let me know if it's better. If it's too loud, that could be the case, too. But I was in Ireland and ended up slipping and falling on my back in the... In the reimagined threes, I learned a lot about the traction that day. Oof. Oof. Open the shoebox. We got a lot of stuff to unbox today, guys. We actually have a bunch of stuff. Um, a bunch of these boxes back here, which uh, I haven't showed you guys yet, but I'm going to do a top 10 video on these guys. Um, so I'm going to unbox all of those because I haven't actually looked at them all that closely yet. And then back here, we've got the sneaker that we're unboxing and also another box that came in randomly yesterday, and I opened it. I'm like, what is this? So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, and then also, if you guys haven't checked, I, uh, I just dropped my unboxing of the brand new PlayStation Portal on my tech channel, which you guys can uh, check out by clicking the link in the top of the description below. And if you subscribe to the tech channel and comment subbed up underneath the PlayStation 5 unboxing, you can win that PlayStation 5 right back there. Actually, let me pull it out really quick. It's dope, man. It's really, really sick. I'm really working on this tech channel, having a blast with it. And uh, you can win this for free if you guys subscribe to the tech channel and then comment subbed up under the unboxing of this PlayStation 5. So I'll put this back here just to remind you guys that we got that. Well, let's start things off with some light work. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? We'll start things off with some ASICs. Oh, man. Man, you Ravens let that game get away, dude. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I'm a big Ravens fan. My favorite team. I got my Lamar jersey. Oh, Sixers and Ravens tied, I'd say. Can I get a hello from Philippines? What's good? What's good, Mac? Guys, any ideas for shoes that are under 250? It depends on what you like. It depends on what you like. What's up, D-Money? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's see something really quick. There we go. Um, What's your favorite golf course in Philly? Oh, what's up, uh, Affordable Shoe Reviews? I don't know. I guess Juniata is, is the one that I go to the most. Can I get a hello? For, I already got you, man. Are you giving away anything today? Not today, but tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow. Speaking of which, this wasn't supposed to be like a sponsored stream or anything, and it's not, but I am actually giving away the sneaker uh, that I'm unboxing in today's stream, which might have ruined it for you guys because I did mention what that sneaker was. Um, but I'm giving that away tomorrow and whatnot. When is the next $20 sneaker collection? Hopefully soon. I'm planning to drop it hopefully at the end of this week. I just have to film the rest of it. <laughs> Jan, you're on the way to work. That's awesome. Tyrese Maxey, a different breed. Tell me about it. Yo, I love the James Harden. I don't love the James Harden situation. I feel bad for James Harden, but it's great to see our team succeed and the team that we traded with not succeed. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm on your raffle. Results are going out now. I didn't realize that. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't we start something off? Why don't we start off with an unboxing of some ASICs? Because I don't know if I told you guys this, but recently I've been getting more into ASICs, and I bought a bunch of ASICs for a video that I'm doing. Um, I actually have another pair that I forgot to get, but I got a bunch of uh, ASICs for this unboxing or for this top 10 video that I'm doing. They're all right here, so let's just go through them and see, uh, see what we got. <laughs> just make sure this is one that I haven't looked at yet. So this is a pair of ASICs I just grabbed off of GOAT. Um, I just looked at it for the first time just now. I didn't know which pair it was, but ASICs obviously come in this brown box. And you guys might be like, ASICs? What? Who likes ASICs? But ASICs are coming. They're coming through, man. They're they're getting it, man. They're they're. I wouldn't say they're up on the level of New Balance. Uh, I still definitely prefer New Balance. New Balance is probably still my favorite brand at the moment. But ASICs is coming up, man, and it's great. It's because that two thousands running aesthetic. They they all have it. Um, almost all ASICs have it. Not almost all. A lot of ASICs have it, and uh, people are all about it. So ASICs is kind of on the up and up. But uh, let's pop 
pop the top on this guy. Here we go. These are the Asics. I think 1130s, the gel 1130s. Pretty wild looking sneaker. Not terrible. I'm not going to lie. Not terrible. Could be worse. I keep forgetting that the stream is a little like behind. Uh, so <laughs> I'm reading the comments. But yeah, these are actually kind of dope. I think I grabbed these for like 150 I had to pay resale for them because they were sold out in Asics website. But they don't resell for anything really. Um, so I got them for I think 180 Maybe like 10 bucks over retail. But yeah. These are going to be part of the top 10 list. If you guys, please make sure to watch that top 10 list. I'll be real with you guys. I don't know what it is. But for some reason... Sneaker YouTube videos have not been hitting recently, and every video I've dropped is just completely bombed. And I've loved making them. I feel like they're some of my best videos that I've made. So if you guys could support the channel, check out some of those videos, I'd appreciate it. But yeah, we're dropping this video probably tomorrow or the next day. Top 10 Asics. This is one of them, the 1130s. Pretty cool colorway. I don't remember exactly what the name of this colorway is. The Cream Ironclad. Cream Ironclad. I prefer Asics because Liverpool was New Balance, so I didn't buy them. Fair enough. Not the best Asics, but definitely clean. Cool. Let's check out another pair. Let's check out another pair. See what else we got here. We've got this. Uh, I'm just gonna feel it. This one looks pretty similar. Let me go with one that's a little bit different. Here we go. This one I have already started filming B-roll of, so I've seen this one. This is another pair of Asics. This is the EX89, I think, is the name. Get the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous of that. These look a lot like the New Balance 550s. Now I don't know the history behind these. I don't know if these released back in like the 80s or not, but uh, they look like they released back in the 80s. They look like a pair of New Balance 550s or a sort of a weird variation on the Jordan One. But they're actually not too bad. These ones I think I bought for around 100 bucks, and I think you can still buy these on ASIC's website. But uh, pretty clean. Pretty clean. Hey, any travel plans on the horizon? Missed you last time you were in the Philippines. Not, not for the next couple months, I'll be honest. Not for the next couple months, but yeah. The ASIC's 89 EX, is it? Or EX89s, I think is the official name of these guys. This colorway is not bad. There's some cleaner colorways, but this is the uh, a pair that I felt like was a good price. And uh, was it still a good colorway? There are some pairs that are a little bit more expensive or like weren't available on instant ship. Uh, what else? Ooh, these ones are clean. I really like these ones a lot. These are actually a collab. There's only 1,500 pairs of these guys. These are the Asics Gel Light, Gel Light 5s, the Nimbus Cloud Pistachio Greens. These are a collab with um, Social Status, which are very cool. Never seen the Jordan 27s before. Do they exist? I think so. Of course, right? Now you're making me double, double think, double guess. That's not, that's not a phrase. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Here we go. The A6 Gelite Fives, the Social Status Collaboration. These are actually mad clean, and there's only 1,500 of them, which is crazy. There we go. 1,500 pairs. Actually, a super, super clean shoe. What's your favorite Jordan? The Jordan 1 Bread is my favorite Jordan. Yeah, these are super, super clean. Really love these. Tag's a little banged up, but that's fine. Um, these ones also don't really resell for anything either, which is awesome, which means you can grab these for a great price, even though there's only, even though there's only 1,500 of them. Uh, really dope shoe. The social status collab, I think it's the collab. I actually have a pair from Ubik before Ubik kind of disappeared or will disappear. Shout out to Brandon. Thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate you. Thank you for the 199. Shout out to Brandon. Yo, at work, but tuned in. Yes, love. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. These are super clean. I love these. I really love these. Uh, what else we got? We've got these guys, which I think are the pair that I was GT 2160s. Yeah, okay, this is another pair. Hadn't seen these yet. The GT2160s. They are clean, right? Right, Hoggle or Hogle? They're super clean. Really like them. So these are the GT60s. They'll go and focus there. There we go. So this pair is another one of those like 2000s running sneakers that comes with like this mesh upper and the green accents and the, the metallic silver accents. I love it. I think it's super clean. I really like it. Now, this is not my favorite pair that I have to unbox. There's one more pair that I have that I actually I think I like the best. Actually, the, the Gel Light 5s that we just unboxed were super clean. Those might be my favorite out of everything. But Are you copying the Bread 4s? Of course. Absolutely copying those. No question. I'm good. Thank you, Baseball Fanatic. I appreciate you. Bummer the Phillies lost, but it is what it is. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm a bandwagon fan. Bandwagon Phillies fan, bandwagon Orioles fan. Whichever team is doing better. Probably more Phillies than Orioles, though, because I live in Philly. Um, here we go. The last pair of Asics to unbox today. This pair is super, super clean. My favorite pair. I've already checked it out. I bought these a while ago, and I just hadn't done a video on them yet. I probably, I don't know if I'll do a full review on these guys, but I'm definitely putting these in the top 10 video. These are the A6, I should know the name, A6 Gel Keanu 14s. This is the pair that is pretty much the most popular pair of the year, um, and this pair is completely sold out. I think I had to pay like 250 for these, almost 300 for these. It's crazy. I think there might also be a collaboration, like maybe a Kith collab. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, these are crazy. 
been looking at ASICs, well, that's the top 10 list is coming. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And please also make sure to watch all the videos on my channel because my views are down. <laughs> that would help. That would help. But uh, yeah, no, this super, super, I'll keep the pair out here because this is actually a super clean pair. I really like that pair a lot. Um, and I'll keep the social statuses out because I like these a lot too. There's also, maybe later on in the stream, if you guys are interested, I'll grab, there's a pair of Bodega NYCs that are super clean as well um, that I might unbox for you guys later on if you guys want. But super clean. And then, of course, if you guys haven't checked out the tech channel yet, we're giving away a PlayStation 5 for everyone who's new who's coming in the stream. And uh, I just dropped the PlayStation Portal unboxing. The review is dropping soon. This is crazy. I'm actually not going to lie. Like, this is actually a pretty crazy thing. Um... I don't know if it's connected to my PlayStation right now, but it literally connects to your PlayStation. It doesn't play games natively off of it, but uh, you can play all the games on your PlayStation as long as you're on the Wi-Fi network of your house or possibly a fast Wi-Fi network somewhere else. But it's basically a controller with a screen on it, and it allows you to stream your games. Now, with, with that, um, you obviously run into some problems of, like, there's some lag sometimes, but I was playing Fortnite and getting dubs, as I do. Uh, no, I don't. But uh, I, did, I did play Fortnite and got five kills my first time back in months, probably years, actually. And um, it's dope. I actually really like it. We love the thrifting content. That's coming back soon. I actually am going to focus on that more. I'll, be, I'll tell you guys exactly my strategy because I've kind of been trying to figure out what to do in terms of YouTube content. And I hate when YouTubers do this, so I'm just going to make it short and sweet. Um, I, I was really going hard on the thrifting content all throughout the year. Um, and I thought people were getting sick of it because, honestly, views started to go down a little bit. And the comments I, were getting, I was getting was like, oh, there's so much thrifting content. And I felt like I wasn't creating a good balance between the sneaker content and the thrifting content, although the thrifting content is kind of sneaker content. Uh, so I kind of slowed down on the thrifting a lot, um, and I went all I went hard back into sneaker content, um, like full, like regular sneaker content. And I love doing that stuff. I love both. Um, but now it seems like that's not doing as well. So I think I am going to just do what I want to do, like do what I love doing, which is thrifting and sneaker content, do both. Um, so I'm definitely going to push more thrifting content, probably not even just sneaker thrifting. Like I, in the next $20 sneaker collection video, I actually picked up um, a bunch of Wii games at Goodwill for like 26 bucks, and they've sold each for like almost 30 to $40. So I'm basically like profiting almost $100, which is crazy. It's super, super crazy. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing stuff like that. Uh, and also probably doing a little bit more 3D printed stuff. Not as much as I did last year, but definitely some more. Oh, thank you so much, Rezo. I appreciate that. Yeah, and I think too, like a lot of people like the thrifting content, not just because it's like the thrill of the hunt, but it's also like people are just not spending as much money. Like people are a little bit more worried about spending money, which I completely understand. I'm, I'm the same way. Christmas is coming up. We don't know exactly what's happening with the economy. I'm not trying to blow thousands of dollars on something stupid. Um, and sneakers are sitting, which is, I think, a result of that. So thrifting is more interesting because it's like there's almost – when you buy a pair of sneakers when you're thrifting – if it happens to be your size and happens to be something dope, there's like a much better story behind it than just going to your local Foot Locker and finding it. So I think that's pretty cool. Do you, uh, do you ever stream on Twitch? I don't. I used to. I used to a lot. I actually went to Twitch headquarters, um, but I haven't in a while. And it's just because it's – I would get like 30 viewers, and I'd be streaming for like six hours. And I'm not saying that you couldn't um, – I couldn't grow an audience, but it would take a while. And just it, it took me away from the content that I really enjoyed making. So – uh, D Money says, I watch Retro Rick all the time. Love when y'all collaborated. Me too, man. That was so, I love Retro Rick. He's the best. I actually talked to Chase after the right price today because I had an eBay issue. I was like, yo, man, what should I do about this? And, uh, <laughs> he gave me some tips, some pointers. I'm a bit behind, but I noticed a lot of sneaker content has been getting less and less views, which is why a lot of sneaker YouTubers are going more into general videos. Yeah, I noticed that, like, I, I have a group chat with a lot of the, a lot of the guys, um, and they've told me that they're doing more general videos, which I get. And that's fair. And that's on it, not why I started the tech channel, because I started the tech channel like four years ago. Um, but I definitely am going harder on the tech channel because I, I really am passionate about it, but also because I want to have a second channel. And uh, if, say, the thing is with, with the sneaker channel, like if the views get really bad, um, it makes it harder to be passionate about the content because I'm like just trying to pump out videos that, are, that will get a lot of views. But if I can have two channels that are doing okay or doing well, then I can put out just content that I'm passionate about in both channels, which results in better videos. So that's the reason for that. Uh, what shoe did you unbox? Oh, I haven't unboxed it yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. I unboxed a bunch of ASICs earlier. Um, and actually, yo, I got this package in. I have no... I don't, I don't want this to happen. So brands, if you're watching this, please don't just send stuff to my house without emailing me and telling me. I don't know how you get my address, first of all. Uh, but I got this package, which I, I, I'm excited about, but I had no idea who it was or what it was or who it was from. So I opened it up, and when I decided to do this stream today, I decided to unbox it with you guys um, on screen. I'm not going to show you guys exactly what it is. I don't know if this is something for the tech channel or something for the sneaker channel. 
but I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll show you guys. Cause I took it out, I took it out of this big box and then uh, I was like, what? So let me show you guys what it is. If you guys know what it is, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think of it and also what it is. But this showed up at my house yesterday. Panic in Gotham City. Now I think it's a board game that allows you to use your phone uh, along with it. And it's, it looks dope, but I just don't know who sent this to me or how they got my address or anything like that. <laughs> but it's, I mean, hey, whoever sent it, thank you. Just please give me a head, heads up next time. <laughs> um, love the channel, tech channel, come back to life. I've been sub for a while. It's great to see it revived. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, saw you in the Rights to Ricky Sanchez podcast comments. Dude, I love that podcast. Um, glad you also appreciate a good podcast. It's coming from a Celtics fan, by the way. Oof, oof. Fair enough, fair enough. Dude, the Sixers, are, I don't, I don't want to make this a full sports chat. I could if you guys want. The Sixers are looking good, man. Embiid, Maxi, it really sucks about uh, about our, our, our boy who got hit by the car. That was awful. And uh, prayers up to him, or prayers for him, not up to him. Um, but uh, Kelly Oubre. But um, we are still looking good. We're still looking really good, so I'm excited about that. Uh, but, yeah, so this is the Panic in Gotham City board game, I think. So I'll unbox it with you guys. Um says, build, construct Gotham City, and transform your tabletop into, uh, into a dynamic concrete jungle, teeming with chaos. Dig through confidential Arkham Asylum patent files, piece together an all-new Batman adventure, collaborate with friends, family to conquer cryptic clues, interactive challenges, and mind-bending puzzles. Actually, I don't have to unbox this if you guys don't want. Let me know if you guys want me to unbox Here, I'll put it off to the side. If you guys want me to unbox this, I will. I think it's a board game. I think. But I'm not sure. It's by uh, Infinite Rabbit Holes. Shout out to them. This is a dope-looking game, though. Jordan 3 Noir or Jordan Fear Pack? Jordan Fear Pack, me personally. Oh, but back there, I hope it's stay on the piano without falling. And we got both assessed teams are doing good. It's the best. This is like such a rare. The problem is, is like the beginning of every year, both my teams always do good. Like recently, it, since 2019, both of my teams have been good. This year, they're both looking better than they've ever looked, which is amazing. Um, and if you're a Philly fan, then the Eagles are looking honestly better than the Ravens. So you've got the Ravens and the Six or the Eagles and the Sixers, so you're even happier if you're just a Philadelphia fan. But do you like the Chiefs? Not not particularly. A lot of my family is from Kansas, my extended family, and they're all Chiefs fans. Um, but I'm not. Uh, so do you like Olive Fours? Yeah, they're clean. They're definitely clean. Test out the FS100. FS100. Is that the camera? I don't know. Um, oops, lost it. I hate the Sixers. I like Timberwolves. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let's uh let's get to some other I guess how far are we through the stream? I don't wanna like unbox it too early. I don't wanna seventeen minutes. We'll wait until we hit thirty minutes, then we'll unbox it. Um here we go. Should I buy Jordan oh. Would you ever do a mystery box challenge or type of video other than through I could if you guys would like to see that. Like I'll do any kind of content you guys are interested in seeing. Yeah, sneaker YouTube is taking a weird a weird turn. FC one fifty, gotcha. Seth, so why do you think the Ravens can't hold third or fourth quarter leads? I don't know, man. I don't know. They get cocky? I'm not sure. Oh, it was a shoe cleaner? I had no idea. Uh, sure, I'll try it out. Uh, playing any games right now? I'm playing. I just got Grand... Uh, not Grand. No, Grand. Grand Turismo 7 that I'm playing on this guy right here. Um, I'm playing the new... I'm going to play the new Spider-Man. I got the new uh, Star Wars... Shoot, what's it called? I forget what it's called. The new Star Wars game. Got that. Uh, how about the Flyers? Uh, they're fine. I don't really care about hockey, but I'll, I'll watch them. Seth, will Pop Gary have mystery boxes again? Yes, we will. Stay tuned. Dropping very, very soon. Um, love unboxing, too. Awesome. That's dope. That is dope. Yeah, sneaker YouTube is interesting. It's interesting to see the sort of the way that it kind of ebbs and flows. Like, sometimes, like, th from 2020 to, like, 2022, it was popping. And then 2023 came along and just slowly kind of went like this, which is fine. I understand it. You should do a Mr. B sneaker version. Hey, maybe. Hi for GTA 6, absolutely. Absolutely. New Balance 990s or Nike P6000? I think the New Balance 990s, personally. What do you think on the new Sean Witherspoon Gazelle? Hey, Tearblood, long time no see. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the dono. Shout out to Tearblood, guys. If you guys haven't followed Tearblood, give him a follow. Or maybe, you know, here, maybe I'll make him a mod. I think you are a mod. I'm not sure. Uh, no, you are a mod. <laughs> it said remove his moderator. I'm not trying to do that. Uh, there we go. Thank you so much, Tear Blood. I really appreciate your support. You've been supporting for years. I really appreciate that. Seriously. Um, any new 3D printed content? Some is coming soon. I'm just dragging my feet on it. I'll be honest with you. Uh, hi from Greece. What's up? What is up? Can I be in your next vid? I mean, if you somehow show up at the same thrift store that I'm at, sure. 
Last such an honor on a great Wednesday. Oh, I appreciate it. Guys, I'd like to stream more. If you guys want to see more streams, let me know. Let me know. But just to kind of uh, go back over what we did already, we unboxed some Asics. We've got a big pair of Nike Dunks coming soon. What are your thoughts on Way of Wade? I haven't actually checked out the Way of Wades in a while. It's been a couple years. But um, I'm not like I'm not like huge into basketball performance sneakers. Like I like them and I play basketball in them, but I, I'm not great at reviewing them, so I haven't really gone into it. I've never tried FZ150. I didn't even know what it was until someone let me know in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, these are dope. I really like these Asics a lot. I really, really dig them. So my guess is that reselling kind of killed the popularity of sneakers. Also inflation, but honestly, no way of not. Very true, very true. I'm sure it'll come back. At some point. But until then, I'm just going to focus more on probably thrifting content in my tech channel. Um, any potential sneaker collabs for you, Seth? No, not at the moment. Bring those April... Hmm. You already know what they are, huh? Oh, okay. I actually have not seen them yet. You should do a live cop streams? I could. Roscoe already has that unlocked, though. He already he already kills it. Gotta play Ghost of Su I have Ghost of Tsushima. Um, Tsushima. Uh, I have it on PS4. I, I need to download it, the PS5 version, on my PlayStation so I can actually play it on the portal. Uh, I guess I could... I guess I could play it on the PS4 version with the disc. I think you still can. Um, Seth, which I'm on year five, like the Dunk or Don? I prefer the Dusk color, uh, colorway. Definitely over the Don. I th also, the Don, I think, is a women's only colorway, if I'm not wrong. Sports channel will be sick, says Kyle Plays TV. Hey, I mean, I'm not that great with sports. <laughs> I just parrot whatever whatever sports content I watch. It's usually what I, what I say whenever I'm talking about sports. Save yourself 100 bucks, 100, 150 bucks. I'm confused. Uh, until the next Panda Dunk brings sneakerheads back. So true. So true. Do you know some of the Nike? Hey, Tear Blood. Woo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Part of the Fowler fam. You, you got the Seth Fowler face with the receding hairline. Hey, there you go. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Tear Blood. Like I said, man, always supporting. I really appreciate you. Mm. It is, but in extended sizing. Fair enough. Do you miss the Janoski SBs? They still have someone. They had one. I think at the outlet recently. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But I thought they had one at the outlet. Uh, see what changed the most in 2019 to now is so many people more versatile than just Jays and Hype. That's so true. That is so true. People are a lot more a lot more willing to try different things. There's a reason why A6 is in right now. There's a reason why New Balance has been in. Because people are more willing to try different things. Um, shout out to Brandon. Thank you so much. 499 I appreciate the dono. Thank you so much. Maybe a design Travis Scott 5 or some other shoe for a bit. Like Off-White 3s. I did. I actually did do an off-white. Oh, you probably are saying like the off-white three video I did. That's a good idea. I actually would be happy to do that. I definitely would. Um, maybe I should get back to some like design content. I've got my my Wacom tablet over here, right here. I could definitely I could definitely do some more videos like that. That's a good call. Maybe I will. What's the harm, right? <laughs> my videos aren't getting views anyway. What's the harm? That's not true. They're doing fine. I just I'm just getting in my head. That's all YouTubers do. Uh, aren't you dropping the film crew shirts? We did. Yeah, they they're sold out. They're actually sold out. There's no beating tear blood. True that. True that. Uh, what's your social security number? It's one. I was the first. How many pairs do you pack your on your vacation travels? Depends on what I'm doing. If it's like a work event, like if it's a sneaker con, I'll pack like three pairs. If I'm just going somewhere, also the length of time. If I'm going somewhere for like a week, I'll bring like two pairs, maybe a hype pair, and then a pair that I could like run in or do some sort of activity in, like a hiking pair maybe. Um, Raffi kills the live streams too. That's dope. I do actually subscribe to Raffi. Uh, I've never actually talked to Raffi in real life though. I've never talked to Roscoe. I I mean, I've talked to him through like webcam streams and or through the web. I've talked to him before, but never like in person. I've never seen his actual height, and I probably won't get to. There's an event in February or January he's going to that I would love to go to and meet him, but apparently I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, you read my stuff. Great folks, great and folks act like can't understand a great vocabulary. I missed it. I'm sorry. I don't remember what you're talking about. Can we get a hoo ya for the one time? Oh, yeah. Seth, bring back customs. Bring back Seth's customs. Thank you so much, Very Chewy Snake. Appreciate you. I could. Hey, I could. If you guys want to see more like design content, I definitely would love to. Let's celebrate their first uh, first super on a live stream. Thank you so much, Very Chewy Snake. I appreciate that. Your first super. Use it on me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Did you do a review on the PS Go? Uh, I did. I'm doing one on the PlayStation Portal. I actually just dropped the unboxing on the tech channel. If you guys want to check that out, link in the top description below. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know if it's possible. We're giving away a PlayStation 5 down here. Um, the support would mean a lot if you guys want to support and check that out. What do you think about the Olive 4s? I like them. Actually, you know what we could do? We could check out when, how long have we been streaming? We've been streaming for, let's do the unboxing and then we'll do some sneaker news. How about that? Do Apothecary Christmas Drop. It's coming. Actually, you know what? 
We do have just to show you guys what we got coming up this week. We've got the the uh, I like to call them the Minecrafts. They're not actually Minecraft. That's they're not, but they're like the pixelated socks. They come in a, in like a tan, a green, a gray, and a blue, and then like a gray. Um, so those are dropping this Friday, which we're super excited about. These are super, super clean. This Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Apothecary.com. I love them. I love the tan one because it kind of looks like you're, uh, you're pixelating your feet, like you, you're kind of hiding your feet pics. I think that's hilarious. Um, and then, eventually, let me see if I can find them. Eventually, we are dropping, where are they? Eventually, we're dropping a Christmas collection. But, uh, it's dropping, it should be dropping December 1st. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you guys that, but I'm going to. For you guys in the stream, um, we're dropping a Christmas collection. Some of it, I designed it. I'm really happy with it. I love this one. This is like a reindeer. I would open it for you guys, but I want to keep some mystery around it. We've got the Christmas collection dropping December 1st. It's going to be crazy. There's one more sock. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, the Christmas collection is going to be absolutely insane. Super excited about it. Um, so, yeah, coming soon. Are you gonna unbox the board? Do you guys want me to unbox the board game? I could if you guys want me to. I'm I definitely am happy to. Definitely am happy to. Um Do you like the I'm on your airships? I do. I do. Hey, ooh, I might have to cut my first socks because I do love the blue pixel socks. Thank you so much, Josiah. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do it. Let's unbox it. Let's unbox it. Not the board game. We'll do that later if you guys want. But uh let's unbox the sneaker. So here it is. This is a pair of Nike Dunks that just released recently. I'm sure you guys probably know what it is. Um, and I'm actually giving this pair away on Whatnot tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys would like to check that out. I know there's a lot of promo here, but uh, it's just because there's a lot going on. Um, you can check out the Whatnot live stream linked in the top of the description right underneath the tech channel below. And we're giving away this pair. I know in the thumbnail I used the, uh, the multicolor box as the, the thumbnail and not the cream box, but that's because I didn't have a cream box. So here we go. Here it is. The brand new Nike SB Dunk Lows. Hope you guys are ready for this unboxing. It's going to be sick. I'm excited. Okay, I'll, I'll unbox the board game next. Here we go. I'm not going to show you guys what the name of the shoe is, but you guys probably already know. You can see it. You can freaking see it. <laughs> Here it is. The April Skateboard SB Dunk Low. Look at that. I actually I should have put this on my top 10 dunk list. This is actually a fire, fire sneaker. I'm kind of mad about that. Shout out to Brandon. Nike SB Apothecary collab design would cop. Yes, I would cop as well if we could do that. If Nike, S anyone from Nike SB is watching, let us know. Yeah, this is so crazy. I actually really dig this. So this is the April Skateboards Nike SB Dunk Low. Let's go over some of the materials. I'm probably not going to do a review on this shoe unless you guys want me to. I could, actually. I could do a full review. Didn't think about that. Maybe I will. When did these drop? Like two days ago? Two days ago. I don't know if people want to see the review on these. Maybe I should. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you want to see the review on these. Um, yeah, so the upper of the shoe comes in this, like, white mesh, which is pretty clean. You've got this metallic silver Nike swoosh, which is super clean. You've got the April on the back. Kind of has, like, this, almost like this pressed-in detail with, like, a, I think that's actually a separate thing that's kind of like, what is that? I don't know exactly how they did that. That's pretty cool. Hey, Jan, thank you so much. Will Apothecary have mystery boxes again? Yes, absolutely, Jan. Thank you so much for the uh, donut, too. I appreciate that. You've got April on the back, and then, of course, on the outsole, you've got the rose, which is pretty rad. I really like that. And then the upper of the shoe, or I guess the overlays of the shoe, are kind of like the um, those Air Jordan 1s from a while ago. Hey, shout-out to CJ Pokemon. Happy birthday. If you don't mind me asking, could you please us a shirt you're wearing under the hoodie if you happen to be wearing one? Uh, I don't know what I'm wearing, and I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's an appropriate question. <laughs> So just because you said that, no, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> I am. Am I wearing? Yeah, I'm definitely wearing a shirt. Am I wearing a shirt? Yeah, I am wearing a shirt. A green shirt underneath. But I'm not going to show you it. You got a tumbled leather toe box right there with some more of that green suede. And then on the tongue, you've got this April uh, skateboarding logo. Let me pull out the other shoe. I actually haven't seen that one yet. Give me Sean Cleaver vibes. True. Fair enough. True, true, true. So the other one, generally the same thing. You've got April right there on the heel. You've got the metallic Nike swoosh. You've got the uh, the mesh. You've got Nike on the back. Actually, that's cool. So on the back, you've got these metallic hits. You've got Nike and April. That's pretty rad. I like that a lot. The tongue is, oh, the tongue on the right shoe is actually Nike SB, and the tongue on the left shoe is April. Pretty cool. And then on the bottom, it's the same thing for both. It's the rose, except inverted. 
These are actually dope. I actually really like these a lot. Would I rock them on a daily basis? Actually, probably, maybe, yeah. But they're not like a shoe, I'll be real. They're not a shoe that I'm gonna like go out of my way. I, I wouldn't pay more than like, I don't know, I wouldn't pay more than like 400 for many shoes, for that many shoes at all right now. But <laughs> I probably realistically wouldn't pay more than like 350 for these. If I was if I was trying to like drop bills on Nike Dunks, this would, probably the most I'd pay is like 350. I mean, I did pay more than that, but I'm giving these away, so it doesn't really count. Uh, again, if you guys wanna win these for yourself, they will be available tomorrow and whatnot at 12 p.m. Eastern time. They're size, oh, size nine. Good size, good size. Pretty clean though, I, I do like them a lot. Do they come with an extra set of laces? Um, Looks like a, a white set of, why do they come with two sets of white laces? <laughs> what? Oh, maybe because one has me, uh, metal aglets at the end. Does the other one not? Or are they just super long laces? I don't know. I don't know why there's an extra set of white laces in there. It doesn't make sense to me. I learned the hard way that the market is plummeting. It is coming down. This is actually a good. If there's sneakers that you like that you just want to buy, um, this is the time to do it. I'll be real. I will be real. Um, actually, there's like two more sneakers that I could show you guys that I, I haven't um I haven't checked out yet. If you guys want to see them, max I'd pay is two fifty. Fair enough. There's two other sneakers. If you guys want to see some more sneakers, they're older releases. They're not like hyped or anything, but they are sneakers that I picked up a little while ago. If you guys want to see them. What's the quality like in the materials? I don't know if they're true to size. I'm assuming they fit like most other SBs. I would assume. I'm probably not going to review these, so I don't know. Um, I'm assuming they're true to size. Don't take my word for it, though. Watch some other people's reviews. Materials look fine. You've got this decent suede on there, and then you've got like this mesh. It's very interesting mesh, and then tumble leather on the toe. What do you think of the new Adidas Sean with the Spoon Gazelles? I haven't seen those yet. Do you ever think of two competing shoe brands will ever do a collab like a Dunk Superstar collab? Probably not. Um, then again, Reebok and Adidas were the same company for a while and did some collabs. I never thought that would happen. Which Powerpuff Girl Dunk SB are you copying? I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm copying any of them. I will be honest. Show us the new cops. Okay, I'll, I'll go get them really quick. I might have to leave you guys for a second, but stay tuned. Also, guys, check out my tech channel. Here, let me uh, put this box up here. Just so you guys remember to subscribe to the tech channel. PlayStation 5. I will be right back. Give me a second. Took a second to find them. I genuinely could not find them. <laughs> okay, cool. We got these guys right here. Let me uh, throw this. Again, subscribe to my tech channel. You could win a PlayStation. A PlayStation 5 Slim. For free. It's the best way to get one. Ugh. Blood left. No. No, no, no. Let's see. Uh, I'm passing the power buffs. Probably me too unless I get it from retail. Or if people really want to see a review. Um, anyone like the Infinity Adidas? They're not bad. They're not bad. Um, and they wrote pretty much broke on it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Miss it. I think if you have money in your, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. So the the money says it's a million dollar bill. Sort of supposed to be ironic. But yeah. Seth Lego channel. Hey, I'd do that. I'd do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys could see the Titanic back there. Um, elevated music. Is your check channel linked? It is. It's linked in the top of the description. Top of the description. You guys can check it out. Um, okay, cool. So now that we've done the unboxing of the April skateboarding dunks, which is the main dunk, let's check out some of the uh, the other unboxes I've got. So these are sneakers I got in a while ago, but I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, maybe I did. Did I show you guys? Maybe in the sneaker collection video? I don't know. But we've got these first. These are the Bodega 
New Balance Trail 610s, which I may have shown you guys. What do you guys think of these? This is a pretty decent looking hiking shoe, I'm not going to lie. I do like hiking, so this might be my new hiking shoe, especially the tread looks pretty beefy, especially for hiking. What kind of design is on your... What time, oh, this is my... um. These are Apothecary, my sock brand. Hey, thank you, Skip. Appreciate you. Pretty beefy. Pretty beefy. Uh, I like these a lot. Um, and then we've got another pair of Asics, which will also be in the top 10 video. Um, here we go. These are Asics. These are also a Bodega collaboration. Shout out to Bodega. Thanks for the support, Bodega. These are the Asics NYCs in this Bodega colorway. Not bad. Brown and purple. Kind of dig it. Did you pick up the Concepts New Balances? I didn't. I did not. Are you ever going to 3D print a shoe again? Yes, coming soon. If you guys like those videos, I'll do I'll do more. I've got one planned. I just haven't had a... You got Bodega in your back. I love Bodega. Bodega is dope. They're so dope. And they always look out. Yeah, these are super clean. These are going to be part of the top 10 um, Asics video. Coming soon. Coming soon. And then the final shoe. My office is a mess now because I've just unboxed so much crap. Um... If we get a thousand likes, can we get the April skateboard? Sure. If, if we get a thousand likes on the stream, you can absolutely get the April skateboarding review. Absolutely, no question. Um, the next shoe, which I actually got a while ago, I bought it from the sneakers app, and uh, <laughs> came out forever ago. But I haven't actually, I haven't actually unboxed these yet. I'm gonna be real, which is crazy because this is this is a sneaker I was really excited about. These are the Air Jordan Eight playoffs that released a little while ago, probably a couple months ago at this point. I literally have not unboxed these yet. It's crazy. My size, haven't worn these yet. I plan to wear them soon though. I'm actually really stoked on these. I wanna film B-roll of these first before I wear them, but really like these a lot. You guys love the 3D printed series? I'll do more, I, I literally have one. Here, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys the concept. Um, and I've got the sneaker design pretty much done. Uh, the concept is running a mile in 3D printed shoes. So I'll 3D print a pair of shoes that I design. I'll wear a 3D pr uh, pair of 3D printed Adidas and then I'll, I'll compare them. But uh, yeah. Everyone like the stream now. If you guys really want to see the April skateboard, yeah, if you, hit a, if you hit a thousand likes, which I don't think is possible, there's not a thousand people in here. But if it does, if it hits a thousand likes by tomorrow, sure, I'll, I'll review them. Uh, they are clean. I don't know if you're talking about the, the eights or these, but can we see your Amma Monier 5s? I don't have them anymore. I sold them on Whatnot. I sold them on Whatnot. Ah, oh, man. The Aqua 8s are better. I do like the Aqua 8s a lot. A lot. I really like the Aqua 8s. We need some April Dunk, <laughs> SB Dunk reviews in the stream. Okay, for a, a couple minutes, let's do a, a, a quick um, sneaker news segment. Let's check, actually, funny story, let's check out sneaker news itself. See what you guys think. How do I close this, like, tab at the top? Is that ever going to go away? No, it's not, is it? Oh, my gosh, go away. All right, well, for some reason, it's, like, taking up half the screen. That's so annoying. Actually, let me see if I can move it. And maybe make this a little bit bigger. And then get rid of that because that's super annoying at the top. Okay. There we go. Let's see what we've got. There Are there any like news stories that are interesting or different that I haven't seen before? <laughs> Let's see. Three stripes across 50 states. Guide to best selling Adidas shoes in the U.S. That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's see. There's so many ads. Adidas was born. That's because I'm not using Chrome. That's why. Adidas was born in a small German town 70 years ago. Okay, great. Ultra Boost. Interesting. The South's everyday pair. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, the Ultra Boost is dope. I get it. You've got the Terex Free Hiker. Where at? This is such an interesting article. Did you see LeBron rocking those AMM 5s? I did. I really did. Looking forward forward to the Jordan 3 Craft. I could see that. Did anyone hit on the Amma Manier 5s today? I didn't even try. I'll be honest with you. Um, Superstars. Okay, I'm over this. <laughs> I'm over it. Little Yachty Air Force's thoughts. I didn't even know about that. I'll be real with you. Didn't even know. Oh, man, the footscapes. How do you guys feel about the footscapes? Ugh. I'm good on those. Jersey SoCal, what's good? Oh, wow. I thought you were just... I didn't even realize there was actual Jordan 3 crafts. That's crazy. I had no idea. So they're actually releasing the Jordan 3 craft. These ads are getting insane. I can't deal with this. Stop it. Stop it. We got the Jordan Three Crafts. These actually look pretty clean. You've got a couple, uh, you got a couple different panels on there. It looks like they're doubling up the paneling on the uh, the toe and on the heel, and also around the lace eyelets right there, um, which is fine. 
I don't hate it. Where's a good place to buy Nike SB Dunks? Please let me know, Seth. I like Goat. I like StockX. I like Whatnot. All those places are fine. Um, or in store, if you can buy them in store. Yeah, these are pretty clean. I don't hate these. They're not my favorite, but I don't hate them. Um, they're not bad. They're really not bad. It's kind of it's probably the best craft that I've seen. I'll be real with you, in my opinion, personally. The fours aren't bad though. The four is it the four are the are the olives crafts? Let me see. Are these crafts? These are crafts, aren't they? I, okay, I actually really like these. The fours I would take. The fours I might take over the threes, but those threes are I like those threes better than the gray fours. The gray craft fours, but these olive craft fours are my favorite. Brave browser might help you with the ad issues. I know. I usually use Chrome, but the problem is, is like I just didn't want any of my information popping up, like um, like uh, autofill and stuff. So I was gonna use Microsoft, which is just the worst. <laughs> it was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. Oh my God! There's a sneaker news ad on sneaker news. Come on, guys. Jeez, jeez. Oh my gosh. I really I can't deal with it. It's too much. Um, <laughs> let's go to House of Heat. I mean, it's less now. There's still ads there too. Um. April skateboarding released on November 27th. I thought they released already. Oh, is it just in certain countries? These released already, right? Like these released on the 13th already, right? I'm pretty sure. If these didn't release yet, maybe I will do a review. We'll see. Um, what else we got here? We got the Valentine's Day dunks. Uh, the Jordan 4 black canvas. Uh, <laughs> they're fine. I just we've had so many that look like that. Uh, the PSG. <laughs> Jordan Legacy 312 is, uh, <laughs> this year's been so good for sneakers, though. These these shoes are, oh, look at this. The Air Jordan 1 Retro, Year of the Dragon. These are kind of clean. I definitely prefer the Year of the Rabbits. The ones that dropped this year, those were crazy. Um, but I can't get the skip ad. But um, these aren't bad either. Seth, oh, I just have psoriasis on my on my knuckles. That's why, my, why they got some red on them. So every, it comes and goes. You never know when it's going to come on, come and go, especially in the winter. Like, my skin gets dry. That's why. I wish I could say I got... Well, I, I don't wish I could say I got in a fight. I wish I could say I won a fight, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. Um, the breads. I'm excited about these. This is a review I'm excited about. Definitely a review I'm excited about. The bread fours. Man, this crop is awful on this, on this browser. Ugh. Man. What are these? The Jordan Spizak Lowe's? Houston Oilers? Nah. I have school. Bro, how are you this out of sneakers? I don't know, man. It's been a minute since I've gone through all the lists, dude. Like, I've been doing top 10 lists for the year. And I've missed a lot of these. I don't mind these. The Kobe 8 Radiant Emeralds. They're not bad. You can't see them at all. <laughs> Great. Thoughts on the Jordan 3 Fears. I like them a lot. If you were a fan of the Fears initially, I would say go for them. Because this is your best chance to get them. And it probably won't be too hard to get, realistically. I mean, harder than these are wild. The Simpson uh, um, Adidas Addy Foams or Addy Foms. I'm assuming it's just Addy Foam, but yeah, pretty wild. There's not like, oh, the nerfs are going to be crazy. I'm excited about these. I don't think they're, I honestly think these will sit because a lot of, if you look at all the KDs that have released recently, they've all been sitting, which is crazy to me because some of them are like crazy. Like the pure monies were dope. Uh, and these ones, they'll probably sell out, but like they're not going to resell just because the hype for these like 2000s basketball sneakers is not what it once was. Although I understand it. Like I was, I was around, I was into sneakers when these dropped and I was so about them. And they're cool. They're clean. Like it's. I mean, they look playful. They're the nerfs, um, but it's just not something I think the hype is going to be there for as much as it would. Well, definitely not as much as it was when they first released, but probably not even that much now. Um, what else we got? We got the Grinches. You guys can't even see them off screen. You should get the Footscapes as a joke. I, I considered it. I considered it. Ravens lose. Sixers lose. I know. It's been well. The, Oh, wait, on the Sixers, it's only 6.45. I forgot. I thought it was like 9 o'clock. Dude, the daylight savings has screwed me. Um, I forgot. The Sixers are playing the Celtics tonight, too, I think. What's your opinion on the Gratitude 11s? I like them. You guys you guys can check out my full review. I did a full review on my channel. Um, yeah. What other website can you go to? Soul Collector, maybe? I just got this. Uh, it's the High Ground keyboard. It's got this. It's sick. It's the, I forget, the, the Legend of High Ground or something. It's a dope keyboard, man. It's got Cherry MX switches. It's sick. First look at the Italian camo Kobe sixes. Ooh, interesting. Don't hate them. Don't love them. Not bad though. I'm afraid Nike's gonna destroy the Kobe's again. Most pairs of KDs sit, even though they're always fired. True that. The 
fives went crazy with bronze fit. I agree. Those fives are clean. I just, I'm really trying to not buy so many sneakers. I'm really trying to slow down on buying sneakers because I don't need as many. Like, I want to just have the ones that I wear and that's it. I'll keep, like, the super important ones to me, but that's it. Like, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to, years ago I was hoarding sneakers that I would never even wear. And it's just not a healthy, healthy behavior. At least not for me. I mean, I, I, other people can do it. I can't. Um, so, nothing wrong with it. At least not in my opinion, but I just don't want to be, I just don't want it to be me. The Galaxy Co uh, KD4s are dope. really like them a lot. Although there is something to be said about um, people who have insane sneaker collections. Like, that's really cool. Like, I really do love going to someone's house and seeing, like, 400 pairs. Like, that's so cool to see. There's a lot of, a lot of my friends have those, have collections like that, and it's, it's impressive. And it just shows how passionate, passionate they are about sneakers. But I've gotten to a point now where I just, I can't fit anymore in my house. I only have, like, 100-something pairs, and I can't fit anymore. So I'm trying to downsize and just only keep the pairs that I really want to wear. Because um, imagine, like, I, I invest a lot in, like, the S&P 500. And if I could have, if I invested, half of the money I spent on those sneakers would have a lot more than I have now. <laughs> um, Big Baller Brown co-founder reportedly sues LaMelo Ball. I heard about that. Yeah, how'd you guys feel about Adidas possibly not releasing Yeezys anymore? It's crazy. It's very crazy. There's so many, there's so much stock left. They might not even drop it. Yes, yeah, rises sucks, man. It's the worst. I have it on my knuckles, on my elbows, on my on my ankle, on my knee. Anywhere that's like a high wear area gets it. It goes away. It comes and goes. Just one of those skin things. Um, what else we got? How's the heat? Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all the sneaker news. Is there anything else you guys want to do? This is uh, houseofheat.com. Really like them a lot. We got sneaker news. The places I go mostly for my sneaker news is Sneaker News, House of Heat, sometimes um, Soul Collector. Uh, there's a couple other websites, but I forget which ones. I go to a lot of them. I kind of like whenever I'm re uh, researching a sneaker, like I'll kind of go to like four different ones and try and figure out what the actual true information is and then report that, whatever it is. Uh, and if I'm doing a sneaker review, I'll try and go to the actual site for the either the collaboration or like sneakers. Let me go to sneakers, see what's dropping actually. Um, that didn't work. Sneakers app. Sneakers launch. Here we go. Oh, the LeBron 2. Interesting. Maple and University Red. Let's see what else we've got. We've got those dropping tomorrow. We've got a bunch of stuff. We've got the Footscapes. We've got the Olive Crafts. Excuse me. We've got the Wheats. we got the Terminator High Alabamas. Um, the Vapor Max Mox. Fear 3s are dope. I'm not going to lie. The Fear 3s are dope. Hey, thank you, J.Crew. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching the content. These 8s aren't bad. The 8 winterized. Don't mind them. Just don't need them. Gratitudes are cool. I like the basketball. I'm not going to lie. The basketball is kind of cool. I'm not going to grab it, but the basketball is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I do like it. Looks like 2K14 bronze. It really does, doesn't it? Definitely has those vibes. What's better than watching LeBron go full be Oh, you can't really read the I'll read it to you. What's better than watching LeBron go full beast mode? The leg this legendary legendary LeBron to reissue. Rarity no more. One of the all-time most coveted kicks is now yours for the taking. Nike keeps doing that. Just re releasing like all their crazy PEs. Um that's not what's going to bring back the that's not what's going to get these shoes hyped again. Then again, they're making probably just as much money as they were before. Um but it's not going to make these shoes hyped again. Uh this player exclusive sent a ripple of envy through shoe fanatics everywhere and LeBron wore them in 2014. <laughs> there you go, 2K14. Uh, made almost entirely with pony hair leather featuring zebra and cheetah print throughout. It's a master class in, in, in unstoppable style, laser etched graphics. Finish off the look, delivering an in your face ending. That's ooh, that's not great. <laughs> that's more head turning than a windmill dunk in a one. Fair enough. I, I, not for me, personally. But hey, to each their own. To each their own. I wish they, I wish Nike wouldn't, like, I, I, I understand, and I'm happy for people who wanted certain PEs and are now able to grab them, but there's a reason, like, why some of these PEs, like, this, if this is just released on its own, I'm sure it would have done fine, but not for me. Did you get the Nike SB Dunk Low tight, boot, uh, tight boots? No, I didn't. I actually just unboxed the April skateboarding Nike Dunk Lows right here. They're not bad. They're actually really dope. And I'm giving these away tomorrow on Whatnot. If you guys want to check out the Whatnot live stream, it's linked in the top of the description below. So is my tech channel where I just dropped the PlayStation Portal unboxing. So if you guys want to check both of those videos out, I'd appreciate it. Or both of those things out. 
But yeah, these are kind of goofy. I agree with you. Definitely goofy. Let's see. Unboxing. Here we go. Yay. Shout out. Yay. I'm just seeing someone say that in chat. Uh, I'm in with those. Hey, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, if you like them, you like them. It's cool. I get it. I get it. How do I get your socks? Apothecary.com. I'll take you to Apothecary's website right now. <laughs> Apothecary.com. Not, not, nope. Not that. Not that. Not Shopify. Oh, I hate how zoomed in it is. Well, this is our website. You can't really see it because <laughs> it's so zoomed in. But uh, Apothecary.com, Apothecary. We've got a lot of cool socks. The bandana collection, the Turkish rug collection. We've got a bunch of shirts, clothing, hats, sneaker cleaners right there. <laughs> Look like condoms. It's great. Um, Apothecary head to toe. Yes, sir. We're dropping a really sick... Um, what is it called? We're dropping the really sick uh, Pixelated collection on Friday very soon in a couple different colorways. We got green, we got blue, we got tan, all sorts of stuff. We got gray. It's going to be awesome. Opinions on Modern Warfare 3, I haven't gotten it yet. But if you check out, here, is this plugged in? Let's see if this works. I'm so excited about this. I've been playing so much since I got this like three hours ago. I've been procrastinating doing stuff. Let's see if it's hooked up, if it's ready to go. You good to go? Press the PlayStation button to unlock. There we go. It takes a while to connect, I will say. You should unbox the board. Oh, you guys want to see the board game? I forgot about that. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, my piano's turned on. Panic in Gotham City. I really, I'm afraid, like, so I didn't know what this was or who it was from. So I'm afraid to unbox, even though it had my name on the address. So, like, it's obviously to me. Or obvious, it's obviously for me. Uh, but I, I don't know anything about it. But I'm going to unbox it. So whoever sent this to me, thank you. You are getting an unboxing on the channel. So I appreciate you for providing me content. And hopefully you enjoy the unboxing if you're watching. Um, let's see it. Might have to cop the Christmas socks. Yes, they're going to be sick. Shout out Kyle Plays TV. It smells nice. Ooh, it smells like a new board game. <laughs> I do love board games. I'm not going to lie. I really do love board games, genuinely. This is apparently like an AR experience, mixed reality experience. So I'm stoked to see that. We do a board game nights here in uh, the Fowler household. You should do this more often. I will. If you guys if you guys want to see more of this, I will do this more often. I promise you. I would love to. It's, it's a blast for me, honestly. Okay, so this is the, the cover right here. This is The box is actually dope. This is actually a sick box. I, I looked up what this was online. I didn't get too much of an answer because I didn't do that much research. But it's like a $150 board game. It's crazy. So thank you to whoever sent this to me. I'm assuming Infinite Rabbit Holes sent it to me, is my guess, based on the fact that it is from them or by them. Ooh. Patient Files, A to Z. Arkham Asylum, scan, stop, scan, play. Here we go. It says, do not open anything or proceed before instructed. Scan, link your box to the Infinite Rabbit Holes app. Okay, I have to download this app. It's going to take a minute, guys. I want to just straight up... um. Just unbox it, but I feel like that's not what they want me to do. <laughs> Let's download this app really quick. How you guys doing? Why download the app? How you guys doing? You've been around since the Fowler Custom Day? Shout out to Seymour, man. Still selling the socks and zoomies? Yes. Yes, we are. They should be at every mall. I had someone buy them in London recently, which is crazy. Just save yourself 150 bucks. <laughs> Let's see. Download the app. I know this is great. I, dude, it's great. I'm so grateful when brands send me stuff because a lot of it is... Sometimes it's stuff that I was planning to buy anyway, which is the craziest thing. Other times it's just cool stuff that I never even realized existed. A lot of the shoes that I get sent, like these, these Bodega A6, like they sent me these probably f four months ago, three months ago. Um, I wasn't even really looking into A6 when they sent me these. And now I'm buying, oops, <laughs> multiple pairs of A6. Uh, so yeah, oh, this is cool. Okay, let me download the app. Face scan there. Um, Just do it. Do it. What car do you drive? I always see the black and brown. <laughs> you think, it, hey, it looks cool. Hey, the reason I got this version of this car is because I think it, I thought it looked cool. Are you a piano man, Seth? I'm not, not very much. I do, I, I do love music. I love to sing. I love to play guitar. I'm in a couple bands, um, or in one band at the moment. Uh, so here, check this out. Can you guys guess what kind of car I have? It's probably not what you'd expect. I'm not a flashy dude. I would love to have a dope car, but I've got a very, like, average car with a dope interior i bought it used at carmax 
Um, and I, the reason I bought this particular one, so okay, I'll, t I'll explain the situation. So I, I bought a 2008, or sorry, 2018 version of this car. And uh, it was 2021 that I bought it because I was trying to get that three-year depreciation curve. <laughs> so I bought the 2018 version of the car. And the reason I bought that instead of the 2019 version, because the 2019 version was like the, the new body style, was because of the interior. I love the interior so much. And the 2019 version, I could get a higher-end 2018 version for a certain price. And then for the 2019 version, for the same price, it would be like the much lower-end version. So you guys aren't too far off. I did grow up with a Prius. It wasn't my Prius. It was my dad's Prius. Not Subaru. I'm not I'm not a Subaru guy. Last time we had a I never actually had a Nissan. I had a my first my first actual car that I owned and bought was a 2001 Acura TL that I bought really recently. Uh probably 4 years ago. CRV? No, it's not a CRV, but you're close. It is a Toyota. It is a Toyota. Uh okay, is this app downloaded? No, it's still downloading. Honda? No. It's a Toyota RAV4, a 2018 Toyota RAV4, the SE, the sports edition. <laughs> That's why the leather seats look nice. Can you drive stick? I cannot drive stick. No, my parent growing up like we had a a, a 1997 um, Plymouth Voyager, which my dad literally just got rid of this year, and uh, a 2004 Prius. That's all we ever had growing up. And then, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I've always been a Toyota guy. Yeah, I, I really like the Rav4. I obviously like I want like a Lexus. I want like a dope car. Like I would I I, I, w I would want a Tesla or a Mercedes. I would really want those cars, and I, I do really want those cars, but um. Right now, I just can't justify it. Like, I just can't justify spending the money on it. Uh, I'm a big Dave Ramsey fan, and he always is like, "Don't get, in the, don't get in the car debt." Which I don't think there's anything wrong with getting into car debt. It's up to you. It's your own decision. But it's something that I've never done. Like with the, the Rav4, I tried to pay it off ASAP. 2018 Nissan Altima. It's a dope car. It's a dope car. The other car we have is a is a Ford Fusion, and it's it's older, like 2010, I think, 2011. Um, okay, so I'm downloading this app. Here we go. Let's check it out together. Infinite rabbit holes. I didn't realize this was going to turn it. You're pretty much broke. <laughs> I'm trying not to be pretty much broke. That's why I'm buying these cars instead of like a crazy, instead of a crazy car that I would love to drive for like five years and then eventually get something else. Toyota, I do really, like, I really do love the RAV4. Like, I really, that's another reason why I'm okay with a RAV. Like, I didn't, I do have a box launch now. Um, because my thought process was eventually. My thought process was eventually I do want to buy a dope car, but I want to work my way up so I can really enjoy each level. So I'm not like, like, so I don't buy like a crazy car and then just like, I can't go anywhere but up. Like if I bought something sick, like a, like a really dope, like Tesla Model S, which I probably couldn't afford anyway. But if I, if I did buy something like a Tesla Model S, I would feel like every car after that would have to be better or like on the same level. And I'm not trying to spend a hundred thousand dollars in every car. Like I'm more willing to spend like 20,000 or like 25,000 on, on a dope reliable car. And then maybe when I'm older, you know, once I have kids and once they get a little bit older, I can spend more money on it. But Master Tech for Toyota, that's dope, Kevin. Dude, I'm, I love it. Like, it's not even the hybrid version. It's the 2018 regular version. I kind of wish I got a hybrid, but I'll be honest, it, it's cheaper for me to maintain. <laughs> Just the regular version. Um, okay, here we go. The app. I already have a box. I thought I clicked that already. I clicked it. Okay, the app might not be working. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Uh, okay, maybe I'll scan this again. Let's see what happens if I scan it again. I honestly, if it gets to a point where I can't open the app, I'm just gonna straight up open this up and see what's up. No, I, I definitely, okay, hold on. Here we go, let's try it again. The packaging is amazing. So shout out to Infinite Rabbit Holes for that. What's better, Domino's or Pizza Hut? I've eaten a lot more Domino's. I'll be real with you. I've eaten a lot more Domino's. Okay, here we go. Uh, Har join Harley Quinn, unravel the mystery. I don't want to, um, shoot, I feel like this part of the game is unboxing it. So now I guess I'm just going to, how to play. Let's just check this out. A mixed reality game unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Here are some quick tips to help you get started. The game is played on your blood. Yep, that's my thought process exactly. But the good thing is, is like, all right, can you pause? I'll, t I'll talk to you about it in a second. <laughs> Oh, so I can't even like. Interesting. Dang, I really want to play. Okay, 
Okay, there's a lot of rules here. Maybe someone just bought this for me as a gift. I have no idea. I really don't know where this came from. Alright, I'm gonna be real. I'm just gonna unbox it. <laughs> I'm just gonna unbox it. Probably not the right move. Ugh. I'll, I'll get my wife to play it with me at some point. Maybe some friends. Who knows? We'll see. Stop. Play the following on screen on screen instructions. Let's pull it out. I mean, this game looks crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. This game does look crazy. Oh, there's all sorts of like there's newspapers in here. I really feel like I'm not supposed to. There's all these bags with like stuff. Oh, shoot. I really feel like I'm just supposed to play this, guys. It looks sick. There's so much cool stuff in here. Maybe what I'll do, if you guys want to see me play it, maybe I'll do a live stream on like my tech channel or something of me playing this. I really don't want to bust it open because I feel like I'd be cheating. <laughs> Check it out. There, if you go to Infinite Rabbit Holes, they do have a... You know what? I'll just go to the website. I'll just go to the website and show you guys. I'll just go to the website and show you guys. Because I feel like it's not going to make sense if we just unbox it. Okay, website viewer. Here we go. Hard to carry. Let's see. Infinite Rabbit Holes. Infinite Rabbit Holes. Here we go. Joker. Augmented reality games. I mean, it's shoot. That's cool. Okay, here we go. There's a trailer. Unravel Gotham's mysteries. Let's do buy now. What happens? What happens if I click buy? Now? Here it is. Mixed reality. Oh, that's cool. Why well, won't let me click? There we go. So this is what it looks like inside. You can build this whole like setup with city streets and stuff. That's. I mean, it looks dope. Like it looks really dope. Man, need that hat. Black Friday is coming up. <laughs> so true, man. So true. I, that's sick. So you, I might play it. Hey, I might get my, my like iPad or something and get this all downloaded and play it with like some friends and family. That'd be sick. So you have to unravel the mystery. See the world like me. Use Joker vision. This is dope. I wonder if it's like only a one-time game though. That would kind of be a bummer. Like there's, I, I have a game, a friend of mine, one of my, I guess cousins-in-law. I don't know how to say it. Cousins-in-law maybe. Um, is it second cousins? No, that's not right. One of my cousins-in-law gave me a, a board game that you can only play once. It's like a mystery board game. And then you have to, uh, then you have to, uh, you can only play it once. And once you figure it out, you just give it to the next person. Uh, this man, I need that Black Friday. It's coming up and check out. Yeah, oh, I read that. Seth, what do you do to get the most money from? I'm trying to learn from people who do YouTube, give you enough money for a living. Yeah, so no, YouTube is my main source of income. Like Apothecary is more of an investment right now. I don't take any money from Apothecary at the moment. Um, but YouTube is YouTube is the is my main source of income, and you can absolutely make a living on YouTube pretty easily, depending on your uh, depending on your niche, um, for sure. What's your favorite Yeezy slide colorway? I like the Onyx colorway personally the best. Um, do you play guitar? Yes, I do. Uh, where can you buy this game? It would make a good. Uh, I think InfiniteRabbitHoles.com is where they they're getting a lot of promo. <laughs> I don't know if a friend sent this to me or if they sent it to me. I really have no idea. <sighs> but yeah, check it out. Panic in Gotham City. There you go. Shout out to Infinite Rabbit Holes if they send it to me. If it's a friend, shout out to my friend whoever sent it to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really have no idea where it came from. I'm not kidding. Hey, shout out. To, happy birthday to Walt. What's the greatest shoe of all time? In my opinion, it's the bread ones. But I've said that a bunch. It's the truth though. Well, you have a Black Friday sale. On Apothecary, we're dropping mystery boxes. Not to ruin the surprise for you guys, but we're dropping mystery boxes that I'll explain it for you guys if you want. Mystery boxes. It'll be ten random pairs of socks. It could be sold out collections. It could be, um, it could be collaborations that we sort of held some pairs back from. It could be a lot of different stuff. Even socks that we haven't released and will never release. Um, it's going to be available starting next week, I think. Maybe Black. It might start Black Friday. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's next week. There's a date, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it, so maybe I won't. Um, <laughs> we're, we're dropping a mystery box. It'll be ten pairs of socks for heavily discounted. Um, and then there's potential to win sneakers and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but the main thing is you'll get 10 pairs of socks guaranteed. Um, so you can give them away to friends. You can keep them, wear them for yourself, whatever you want, whatever you want to do. Um, check I show speed store. He says goat app tomorrow games and other things. Cool. What's your most worn sneaker ever and most worn of 2023 ever? Could be the bread ones. Honestly, could be an ultra boost. Could be easy slides. Um, could be Vans, could be Vans Authentics. Um, shoot, this year probably the Phillies dunks is, is maybe not. It's not a release from this year. Maybe the SB fours actually. Maybe the SB fours. What happened with the apothecary design contest? So we we ran into a roadblock with that. 
um, and we'll kind of provide more clarity on that in the future. Um, but it should still happen. Uh, but we're trying to figure some stuff out with that. Still got the Georgetown ones. I do. I do. I like those a lot. Not sure if I'm going to keep them because I've worn, I wore them to Georgetown and I wore them a couple times. I really like them. It's the only pair of 85s that I have at the moment, but I just don't, I don't wear them that much. So it might be a pair that I might get rid of. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. What's your favorite job of the year? The SB fours and then the reimagined threes. And then there's some other stuff that I really like too. Um, everything Seth. Evening, Seth. Hope you're good, boss. I appreciate that, Adam. Yeah, I'm doing well. Do you own patent breads? I did. I got rid of them. I did. I wore them a couple times and then got rid of them. I was just, just didn't need them. SB4s are underrated. I think so. I mean, I thought that they're sneaker of the year for a lot of people, so I could be wrong. Um, is this not live? Okay, good. Um, this is my favorite stream that I got to be in. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Super C. What about the flop on the Gratitude 11s? They're, I mean, shoot, if you, this is the time to get them if you want them. This is a, I mean, they're great. What's your favorite Nike Jordan silhouette this year? Probably the, I like the threes better than the fours. Even though the four is my favorite sneaker of the year, the SB fours, the threes, I just prefer. I just prefer the threes. Do you have any sneakers in the collection at the minute that you regret buying? Not at the minute. I've gotten rid of everything that I regretted buying, um, but I have sneakers I regretted selling. Uh, the original 750s or 700, no, 750s I sold for way too cheap. Um, Clark Sambas are underrated. I do like Sambas a lot. What are you, they're a little narrow for my, I have normal, like medium width feet, but they still like, they make my feet look small. Um, yeah, again, guys, tomorrow I'm giving these away and whatnot. So if you guys want to check that out, I, did, when did these release? Did these only release the skate shops on the 13th? Hold on. I'm going to do some research. I might drop a review on these realistically. Cause I'd feel stupid if I dropped if I didn't drop a review and then like everyone wanted a review. I saw a couple people say, um, Nike SB April skateboard. April skateboards this year. Uh, it doesn't seem like people are too stoked on them in terms of viewership. Um, all right, maybe I won't drop a review. Maybe I'll drop a YouTube short, kind of going over all the details of them. So I love the orange and the fears are lit. What's your opinion on them, Seth? I like the uh, the fears a lot. The fear threes, they're dope. My feet are too wide for Sambas. Yes, the Sambas are tiny, man. They are tiny. Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined, so dope in person, but everyone's sleeping. They are sleeping on them. I, I don't love them, personally. I prefer the regular Royals, but they are dope. And I'm surprised that they're not sold out. What are your thoughts on the new Craft All 4s? I like them. I like them. 27th. So you think... Uh, I, I would, I'll definitely, honestly, if you guys like these streams, I'll definitely do more of them. I'm enjoying doing it. I'm really enjoying doing it. Um, shoot. Uh, they really don't come out till the 27th. Really? I thought they came out on the 13th. Maybe it, just, maybe it was just the because they released for, um, for skate stores or at skate stores on the 13th. Let's see. Huh, it is the 27th. Wild. I really thought they, I, they they definitely released at Skate Source on the 13th. You have Merle, why would you review them? Why wouldn't you review them? I don't know, because like a lot, so I'll be I'll be completely, completely honest and transparent with you guys. Reviews take a long time to make, like six six to eight hours, so it's an entire day's worth of work. Um, and if it's not gonna do well, it's just like I could, do, I could make a different video that would probably do better um, in the same amount of time. So it's not a shoe that I'm like incredibly passionate about, like it's a dope shoe. But it's not a shoe that I'm like losing my mind over. If it's a shoe I'm really excited about, I would do a review regardless of what the views would be like. But this one's fine. It's just not like I'm not in love with it. So we'll see. We'll see whether I do a review on it or not. I'm I'm kind of on the fence. Oop. Uh, what do you think of the typos? They're fine. I don't mind them. I don't mind them. Again, guys, one thing I am really excited about that I am excited about doing reviews on is the PlayStation Portal. Here we go. If you guys want to check out the unboxing of that, it's on my tech channel. Also, if you subscribe to my tech channel and comment subbed up underneath the unboxing of the PlayStation 5, you could win that PlayStation 5 right there for free. Linked in the top of the description. Please check it out. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to that channel. It's my – love it. I just love it. Um, neutral Gray Air Jordan 5 80 – sorry. Neutral Gray Air Jordan 1 85 Lows or all-white Air Force 1s. I prefer the 85 Lows. Hey, what's up, DNA Show? What's good? What is good, man? Yo, I'm glad you're here, man. I appreciate it. It's good to see you guys. If you haven't checked out DNA show, you got to. You got to. April's are nice. True that. True that. Hey, Lost Royalty Gaming. Appreciate you being here. I'll do more lives. If you guys enjoy these, I'll definitely do more of these. I will definitely do more of these in the future for sure. For sure. 
Yeah, man. DNA Show's got a crazy collection. You guys got to check him out. And he also makes amazing content. You guys got to check it out. Uh, I still find it mad how many people, how many sneakers you can find at Nike Outlet now, special and refurbished section. So true. There's so many good refurbished sneakers. I was doing a lot of Nike Outlet vlogs because the sneakers that were there were crazy. Um, but I, people just seem to be not as interested in them anymore, the videos. And also, I, one of the Nike Outlets told me I couldn't film there anymore. And I was like, well, that was the best one. And I'm like, I'm not going to – hey, if they're telling me not to film there, I'm not going to give them my business. I, I got salty. I'm not usually like a salty person or uh, someone who holds grudges, but that particular one kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, dude, man. And I'm not like – it's not because I feel like I deserve to be able to film there. I don't. Like they don't need my business. They don't need my my uh, promotion. They, they'll do just fine without me. It's just because I was like, dang, man. Like I wasn't bothering anyone. I was just kind of carrying my phone around. I wasn't even filming with a big camera. But hey, they, they got policies. I understand it. I'm just not going to – shop there as much anymore late to the video april's haven't dropped yet i i really thought that they dropped at skate stores i really thought that they did apparently they didn't that's crazy that's crazy i really i i guess i'm just not on top of it do you like the black tone ones i do i love them i wear them all the time i wear them all the time play us a jam nah you i suck <laughs> you wouldn't want that you wouldn't want that why does nobody talk about the jordan 185s that came out earlier this year i don't know they're they're sick i really like them I found Royal 3 reimagines at the outlet. You're lying. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just did a, a video with Kais where I went to the outlet and we did like an outlet challenge and we and I found um, satin ones. Satin bread ones at the outlet, which was wild. Crazy. Would you guys want to see another outlet video? I really haven't. I mean, I dropped one recently. Like the Kais one I dropped recently. It wasn't that long ago. Let me see when I, when I dropped it. I dropped it, um, what, two weeks ago? So it's not been that long since I've done an outlet video. Uh, but I was planning on, on kind of putting them on hold for a bit because I just feel like uh, people just weren't as interested. And also, I was sick of getting kicked out of outlets. I dropped them in 26. So it was about a month, almost a month ago. Not a month yet, but getting close. Favorite retro four? Probably the fire red. No, the um, white cement fours. White cement fours for sure. Uh, when you do your outlet challenge, ever considered a New Balance Adidas? I do, and I've been there. I actually did in one video, um, the one where I went to Michigan, I did the New Balance store, and they had the Bodega New Balances. But um, I kind of struggle to find the 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 main point for those outlet videos other than just showing people what's available. Like, I feel like now, and I hate to get too into YouTube because a lot of people just don't care, and that's fine. <laughs> but, like, I feel like with YouTube videos, like, you really got to have, like, a main story or a main point. And sometimes if you can't have that, like, if you're just showing, like, that's why mall vlogs don't really work anymore, in my opinion. Um, if they don't have, like, a main story or purpose for being, like, for example, going to the outlet, if you don't find something crazy or if you don't, like you're not trying to flip shoes or whatever, the viewership's not going to be there. So, for for stuff like the the New Balance stuff, you're not going to find like a lot of crazy deals, especially not at Adidas. Um, and I've done Reebok before too. Uh, it just people just don't care as much. Like I'll go through my watch time and see what parts of the videos people are watching, and when it comes to those sections, like they'll drop off. So that's why I haven't done as much. Um, Seth, you need to do a Heat versus Heat series with some other sneaker YouTubers. Everyone would beat me. DNA would definitely beat me. DJ would definitely beat me. Kais would definitely beat me. Um, Tony would probably beat me. I think everyone would beat me. Actually, no, I did do one with Tony. Tony might not beat me. He might not beat me, actually. I was on the phone with Tony earlier. I think I might, I might have to call him later and be like, yo, I'd kick your ass at the heater heater heat challenge. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Matt? Shout out from the UK. Dawns or Dusks? I prefer the Dusks, personally. Seth, you need... Oh, I already read that one. Uh, what's good? I never watched the live years. I don't do too many lives, but I'll definitely do more if you guys want to see them. Also, if you guys want to check out my WhatNot live stream, I'm doing a live tomorrow on WhatNot uh, at 12 p.m. Eastern time. I'm giving away these and also some. Uh, I'm selling some sneakers and then giving away these, probably giving away some socks. So if you guys want to check that out, link in the description below. Please, please, please make sure to bookmark that live stream. It's going to be crazy. I probably should actually promote that a little bit on, uh, on social media so people come. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How many bookmarks do we have for that? Actually, let me check. Let's see. Uh, 319. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I should change the name of it. So it's uh, April Skateboarding. Well, let me take a picture of the shoes. So if you guys go go to my page on Whatnot, Skateboards, Nike SB Giveaway, Dunk Giveaway. Um, if you guys go to my – let me take a picture too. If you guys go to my Whatnot page and uh, check out this – um. This live stream, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be sick. Let me try and do it with something good. Oh, it's a bad, 
Bad lighting, bad lighting. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Um, Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. I just forgot to put the... So if you guys go to my WhatNot Live, pa or what not live stream or WhatNot page, which is linked in the description below, and then check out my upcoming... There it is. April Skateboarding. Link right there. It's like I'm looking at the shoe. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, check that out. We're giving those away tomorrow. What size are those Aprils? I think they're size nine. I just bought whichever the cheapest, um, the cheapest instant ship was. I'll be honest with you. It was still like a five hundred dollar. Does a PlayStation Four PlayStation Portal work with a PS Four? I don't think it does, but it does work with PS Four games if you play them on the PS Five. Do you play Red Dead? I have played Red Dead in the past for sure. Um, come to Canada, dog. I was in Canada last year. It was last year I was in Canada. Uh, you should do more ankle socks. We do. We have a bunch of ankle and no show socks. Um, no shows. We probably won't do many more colors because you can't see them. So we did black and tonal. Um, and then ankle, we have the black, gray, and white. Um, we don't come to you for more hype. We don't come. We like that your content is different. I appreciate that, Lamar. Thank, or Jamar, sorry. I saw the L and the, then the J. I was thinking Lamar Jackson. My bad. L, Jamar, Amos, appreciate you. Uh, what are the Sakai waffles like when wearing? They look really narrow. They are kind of narrow. I'm not going to lie. Um, Hoogle, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. I hope you cop that. Um, when's the next uh, thrift video dropping? Hopefully this weekend. Poss okay. My camera just went out of focus for no reason. Hopefully. Maybe it's a ghost. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully um, Hopefully this weekend. DNA Show, when's your next vid? Oh, what's your next vid going to be about? I would like to know that too, actually, if you're still here. You might not be, but if you are. Um, would you prefer the film Ants Over Bugs Life? Oof. I do not prefer the film Ants Over Bugs Life. That's a crazy thing to say. Not at all. What's up, Real Kings fan? Okay, I'm going to chill for like a couple more minutes and then go have dinner with my wife. Um, I, I've been good. Thank you. You should come to SneakerCon around uh, the world one day. Just see everyone. I'd love to. I just, I got a wife now. I got, I'm 30. Well, 32. <laughs> so, almost 32. I'm not 32 yet. I just I I should have done that in my twenties, my early twenties. Actually, I started YouTube when I was twenty four, sneaker YouTube. So I've been doing it for like seven years, eight years now. So I did I did do a lot of sneaker cons. I've never been to like some. Is my eye red? Oh my gosh, my eyes red. Um, I was wondering why my left eye wasn't as open as my right eye. It's so stupid. I am from uh, a little late. I wanted to ask which Nike Dunk. I prefer. I think I prefer the April, the Aprils over the Crenshaws personally. That's my guess. Um, digging the tech channel. Great. Thank you so much, Sneaker Saints. Again, if you subscribe and you comment subbed up underneath the uh, PlayStation, f excuse me, I have a burp. That was disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Underneath the PlayStation 5 unboxing, you could win that PlayStation 5 for free. Link to the top of the description below. Uh, is the whatnot giveaway live? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We actually just gave, not to keep promoing stuff, we actually just gave away the, the Rolex, the Apothecary Rolex. And the guy, I, I really thought, if, we had to look into it because I was genuinely like a little concerned it was a scam. Um, but the guy who got it was from Guam. Uh, I guess maybe on a military base or something, but um, yeah. So he's getting a Rolex. It's crazy. DNA show was good. But the next video will hopefully be dropped tomorrow, and it's a new series I'm doing. Title will be something like "Do all sneakerheads think the same?" Ooh, interesting. Thank you, Tear Blood. That's what I was saying. Yes, the Turbo Greens. The color is almost exactly the same as the Turbo Greens. So true. Would you guys want to see a review on this? I feel like the review wouldn't wouldn't do too well. I don't know. I'll check. I'll do like some research on it. Do you play SNES games? Yes, absolutely. I, I would show you guys in my studio, but I have a full on, um, full on SNES collection. More N64 than SNES, but SNES, um, NES, everything, everything. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, DNA Show. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Had to cop the Ravens. That's dope. How do you like them? I actually really like them a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I really like them a lot. The opinions on North Carolina. It's cool. I used to go to the Outer Banks every couple of years. It was cool. I, I kind of want to go to a Sixers Charlotte game. We'll see if that happens. Uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out, have some dinner, guys. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to check out all the videos on my channel if you haven't yet. I'd appreciate it. Um, you guys have been amazing. Ah, oh, SB of the year, SB fours don't count. I had a video on it. Check out my top ten SB video. That'll tell you which one I think it is. Guys, you are so amazing. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to check out the tech channel if you haven't yet. I'm gonna do more of these. Uh, I might do it weekly, bi-weekly. I don't know. It's been a blast. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good night.